guys, it's Kylie here back with another video. Today, I'm going to be transforming. So, what I'm trying to do here is making, like, kind of making my own DIY room decor. I bought this locker thing from Walmart where it was, like, really cheap and it was on, like, rollback. It's, like, this locker. It's, like, things for your locker so they have magnets on the back. But what I'm trying to do here is remake this. That's why I was, like, tra saying transforming. I didn't do a very good job at explaining it. But what you will need is, like, any type of old locker things or any type of old room decor. And you can just paint them and do whatever you really want to do with them. And that's what I'm kind of going to be doing in this video. And these things into a nice room decor that matches my room colors. And, yeah, you guys get to watch that. <laughs> so, check out my Instagram at Kylie underscore slime. I know this isn't slime related, but I wanted to try something new. Because I don't want to start doing different crafts on this channel, but I will most definitely stick to doing slime, like, at least, like, once a week, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, guys, let's get started. So first of all, I gotta show you, like, the colors of my room. It's, like, gray, white, and teal, so these are, like, two art pieces that I have in my room. I'm not gonna show you a lot of my room because, like, I want to do, like, a special video for the room tour, but... I needed something to go on this wall that's like by my window, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I don't know why I keep saying that. But yeah, I need something to go here, so I decided to do a DIY. So I literally have no idea how I'm gonna like set this up, especially since there's like a mirror. But right now, I'm telling you the things that I need. And I have these from Goodwill for like 99 cents or something. But then I have these acrylic teal paints. And I also have other acrylic paints that I will be using for this video. So guys, I don't know if I'm going to really do the mirror because like you would see my reflection and I don't want to show them my face. I think I probably know by this point. But I have these magnets that were in the picture at the beginning. And I'm going to be switching them out with these magnets. I'm not going to be like remaking them or anything. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. And then I'm going to be painting these one by one. So let me just reset up and then I will start painting and start doing random stuff okay okay so this is what I'm gonna do first so I'm gonna start with some paint there are these people walking outside my room I'm probably gonna just put it on. oh that was too much I'm probably just gonna put it on here oh good it didn't go on it and I'm just gonna start with this color and start painting so yeah Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done at this point. It looks really good. Here, I'll zoom out real fast. Uh, so yeah, I actually am really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. Sorry about all this stuff all over my desk. Got this stuff over here, you know, paint everywhere. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, even though it's not that good. And this is like my first time doing this, so you can still see a lot of paint in places. Why is it so blurry? Okay, but yeah, we're going to move on to the next thing, which is probably going to be the whiteboard. So yeah. So guys, actually, while we do this, I'm going to tell you guys how you can do this on your own. So I got this packet from Walmart. Whoa, this one is going to be a lot harder to do. What? Okay. Well, I got this packet from Walmart. Hmm. This is hard. I got this packet from Walmart for like three dollars i think and i didn't use it for my locker so i decided to use it for my room it's like one of those locker kits um so everything is like magnetic and stuff and it's kind of cool it came with a little pen thing for drawing on the whiteboard too and some other cool stuff so this one is obviously going to be really hard to do as i can tell right now i might keep it like this more salmony color with like just like the teal a little bit over it not like make it as like vibrantly colored as the last one because this is really difficult but yeah we'll see what happens but guys you can just buy one of these packs from walmart and then customize it to what you want it to be like we're gonna add some designs and things later and just customize it for your room so yeah okay guys so obviously you can tell there's a lot of rough spots on there 
Um, this one's wet. It didn't like automatically dry. I know there's weird writing on here. Just to, like let that be excused. But yeah, we're gonna like try to fix this later because this is not that good. As you guys can tell, I tried to pull Bob Ross there. Didn't really work. But yeah, I put some more colors on my desk because I don't have anywhere to put the paint. Oops. Oh. This is my life here. Okay, hey, just need a little snap top for you. Um, I kind of like use these, but like they're like the same colors as the ones I'm using right now. So I think I'm going to do something here and like kind of like do some coral thing. I don't know. I just like to talk. And I don't know at all what I'm talking about. But yeah, we're going to try this. So you guys get to watch again. That right there is like my art coming to life. If you guys know what I mean. Um, yeah. That was my attempt at coral that failed. So I turned it into a bunch of wavy lines. Then I kind of put some things over there. So that was fun and stuff. And now my hands are dirty. You guys, I changed my mind. I was like, what kind of Bob Ross would I be if I didn't finish while I was still a mess, you know? I feel like we shouldn't touch this. Like, this just looks so good that we shouldn't ruin it. So, I changed my mind. Sorry, guys, you can see that dirty mess. Yeah, okay. We should fix this up, the whiteboard. I think what we're going to do for the whiteboard is just get a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Maybe a little mixture there like a Bob Ross guy would do. Probably gonna have to turn up the volume for that part. I just totally screwed up. Hmm. Hmm. So guys, after I did all this and it was like just nonsense and did not go well as you'll see because I am not an artist. That's why I'm kind of confused of why I filmed this video. But I decided to post it. So yeah, you guys get to enjoy that. Um, I just decided to wash this off and just keep it the way that it was. So you'll see that at the end. I'll probably mention it. And then also, here in this next clip, I did decide to paint the blue magnet, although it did not really work that well. I'm telling that this last video, I painted that thing. It has really bad lighting right now, so you can't really see it. But I'm going to wait for all of these things to dry, and then I will see you all in the morning. Okay, guys, so I finished these things yeah they look great i ended up like washing off that whiteboard there but the other things look pretty good and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe and comment hashtag slime squad and guys i'll make sure to do another slime video next time that i post because i don't want to stop doing slime i just wanted to try something new and see if you guys liked it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe and comment hashtag slime squad if you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications, comment down below hashtag slime squad. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.